Education is the first step in getting the most benefit from your antiplatelet medications. The more you know about your medications, the better you can work with your healthcare team. Let's explore why you are taking antiplatelet medications, what you can expect from taking these medications, and what else you should know. Your heart is a muscle, and like all muscles, it needs oxygen to function. Oxygen, carried by your blood, is delivered to the heart through your coronary arteries. Over time, fatty deposits can build up in your arteries, causing plaques, also known as blockages. Once a blockage causes a large enough narrowing in the artery, you are at risk of less blood and oxygen reaching parts of the heart, especially when you are active. This results in angina, which might feel like chest heaviness, pain, or pressure. The blockage can also break or tear, causing a clot to form, stopping blood and oxygen from reaching parts of the heart. If this happens, a heart attack may occur. Medical terms for heart attack are myocardial infarction or acute coronary syndrome. Both angina and heart attacks can be managed with angioplasty or percutaneous coronary intervention, commonly known as PCI. During this procedure, a balloon opens the narrowing and one or more stents are inserted to keep the artery or arteries open, restoring blood flow over the long term. Following PCI or a heart attack, you will require antiplatelet medications to prevent platelets from sticking together and forming clots. This will decrease your risk of experiencing a future heart event. Typically, two antiplatelet medications are used in combination. These are ASA or aspirin, and one of clopidogrel, also called Plavix, ticagrelor, also known as Prolinta, and prasugrel, also known as Effiant. Each works on a slightly different part of the platelet with additive benefit. Studies comparing the benefit of the use of aspirin alone versus a combination of aspirin and clopidogrel have shown a 10 to 30% decrease in patients experiencing events such as heart attack, stroke, or death from heart disease. In some patients, combining aspirin with ticagrelor or aspirin with prasugrel provides even more benefit, an additional 16 to 18% decrease in events. Aspirin will usually be prescribed for the rest of your life after a heart event. The second antiplatelet medication used in combination with aspirin is usually prescribed for one year, but sometimes combination therapy may be shorter or longer. Based on your individual risk factors, your cardiologist will determine both the optimal combination and duration of therapy for you. If you are ever unsure of your plan, check with your doctor. Stopping therapy early without the advice of your doctor may lead to serious complications such as a heart attack. With all medications, there can be side effects. Because antiplatelet medications prevent clots from forming, there is an increased risk of bleeding problems. Usually this is nuisance bleeding or not serious. You may bruise easier, are more likely to have nosebleeds, and it may take longer for this non-serious bleeding to stop. Talk to your doctor if the nuisance bleeding is bothersome and do not stop your medication unless instructed to do so. Rarely, serious bleeding such as coughing or vomiting up blood or red or black tarry stools might occur. It is important to seek emergency medical attention right away if you experience these or any other concerning bleeding. All medications have benefits and risks, and your doctor has decided that the benefits outweigh the risks for you when prescribing antiplatelet medications. Less people will experience heart events because they use antiplatelet medications, though for a few, bleeding events will occur. There are other potential side effects that should be mentioned. Clopidogrel has a small risk of causing a rash, and ticagrelor can cause mild shortness of breath. Do not stop your medication if you experience these side effects, and make sure to promptly discuss with your doctor. It is important to let all your healthcare providers know that you are taking antiplatelet medications. If you require a procedure or surgery that may cause bleeding, 
Do not stop these medications without first confirming with your cardiologist that it is safe to do so. Antiplatelet medications will often be continued through minor procedures or surgeries such as dental work. With antiplatelet medications especially, it is important that you are consistent with how and when you take your medication. Remember to fill your prescriptions immediately upon leaving the hospital so you don't miss a dose. And if you have any problems getting your medication, make sure to inform your healthcare team immediately. Speak with your pharmacist or physician before starting any new prescription or non-prescription medications as they may interfere with how your antiplatelet medications work. This includes anti-inflammatories such as ibuprofen or naproxen, which increase your risk of bleeding. If you have pain or a headache, acetaminophen may be a safer alternative. Remember, Education is the first step in getting the most benefit from your antiplatelet medications. The more you know about your medications, the better you can work with your healthcare team.